I'm going to explain to you in this video how to create in your tool library a countersink. Okay, so we're going to click on tool library when we're in manufacture space. I'm going to go to your local, one of your local libraries. Click on the add button. And under hole making is where you're going to find the countersink. So I'm going to put in, first of all, a description. So I want to create a, a 3 8 by 90 degree countersink. Okay. Going over to the cutter. Um, I'm going to make sure the number of flutes is set to 1. Diameter we have to change to 0.375. You're going to notice there's a, you can see a, an obvious flat at the end of the, the tip of this tool bit. And that is because tip diameter, in, in this case, mine is set to 50 thousandths of an inch. Yours may be set to something different. Um, we use uniflute countersinks in our shop, so it's got almost no point at all. There might be a slight, uh, you know, rounding or flattening of the tip. But it's it's all it's almost a almost a perfect point, um, so I'm going to put that at ten thousandths. Very important. That's going to have a lot to do with uh, calculating the depths. The other thing that's going to be important is make sure we have the right tip angle, and it's mine is set at ninety degrees. I'm going to change that to eighty two degrees. I'm going to use an eighty two degree countersink. Now, looking at this tool bit, um, you know you you could get a little more fancy with it if you wanted. If you, you know, the shaft diameter is 0.250, you can do that. Uh, this, the stuff that's gray doesn't really matter when it comes down to the calculations that are being made. This is really good for simulating. Uh, if you're simulating for, to make sure you're not gonna crash into something with your tool and with your tool holder, you could get real fancy with that. But uh, for this basic stuff, we don't have to worry about it. This looks good down here at the bottom. So I'm going to move over to my cutting data. Spindle speed for this. Um, well, I'm going to set this at 500 RPM. And feed per tooth, I'm going to set at 0 0.002. And we'll see what comes up with feed rates. One inch per minute. That's really slow for this. Uh, so I'm going to increase my feed to 0 0.003 inches per tooth and one and a half inches per minute. Okay, uh, that's what we're gonna get. Now, you'll notice if I crank up the spindle speed, it should change the feed rates. So I went up to 800, now it increases it to 2.4. 1,000 RPM, increases So the faster we spin it, even though you know we want the feed per tooth to be 0.003, that doesn't, that doesn't change, but the cutting feed rate itself will change. Okay, so that should be good enough right there. Post-processor, I gotta give it something. Um, I'll give it a, I don't know, four. Good enough for me. And that's all it is. So let's see, okay, click accept. And now I've got that tool ready to use whenever I want it, right there in my, uh, my local library. And that's how we create countersinks.